patience and quiet are two of the most respected traits when it comes to the outdoors. And while silence can enhance fishing or hiking, those activities have nothing on the calmness required to photograph owls. Wildlife photography is a challenge by itself, but owls are an entirely different endeavor. For Justin Rogers, keeping quiet is no problem when the reward is the perfect owl snapshot. Tucked under the treetops of Ledges State Park in central Iowa, rests a photographic adventure for one Midwesterner. Justin Rogers often marches into the Iowa outdoors fulfilling a passion of not only photography, but in search of a very specific creature. Especially looking through that lens and kind of locking eyes and having it look right back at me. And I think that was the moment where I was really hooked on specifically on owls. Uh, just the uniqueness of their eyes, um, the way that they look. On a warm late spring day, Rogers has zeroed in on a young owlet as it begins to stretch its wings for the first time. We are kind of hunkered down here monitoring a barred owl nest, and inside we have seen at least one poking its head out. Uh, it's very near the time where they will fledge from the nest, which means they will take their first flight. Um, there's been known to be two in this nest so that one may already be out. And one of the adults is kind of uh, monitoring from the distance as well. So we're here behind some cover, uh, trying not to disturb them. And we've gotten some snapshots of it, testing out its wings. The young barred owl is just part of Roger's photographic quest across Iowa. It's a self-imposed hunt for every type of owl that inhabits or frequents the Iowa countryside. I've kind of been on a mission to try and photograph all of the owls that are located here in Iowa. The Iowa DNR says that there are nine different species of owls that reside either part or full time here in the state. And I have now photographed eight of those species with only the burrowing owl remaining that I have not yet photographed here. So every owl, they kind of have a different color of eyes and size. The great horned owl, I think, are the most unique because they're bright yellow. Uh, barred owls and some of the other owls, they just have kind of a dark tone to them and you can't, it's just kind of like a hollow cavity. But uh, when you lock eyes with the great horned owl, they're almost like a cat where they have like a vertical sliver to them and the bright yellow appearance. And just when you lock eyes with them and it's like a staring contest, it, it's kind of neat just to have that moment. On a recent trip to Neil Smith Wildlife Refuge, Rogers kept distant watch on a great horned owl nest, careful not to disturb wildlife. Um, kind of following the rules of birding in general, making sure to maintain respectable distances. If you see the owl uh, getting nervous, agitated, anything like that, you know, you're too close. I find a lot of the wildlife in city limits actually, and I can't take all the credit. Um, oftentimes friends will give me a tip to a location where there may be an owl roosting. Oftentimes, the only way I see owls, unfortunately, when I'm walking through the woods is when they're flying away from me. They're very silent. Uh, when they fly, they don't make any noise at all. Um, so if you're in an area where um, there are owls present, sometimes you may walk right by them and not even notice. Roger's quest to capture all nine Iowa owls included the elusive snowy owl, a cold weather bird known to pass through sections of the state during migration season. Lucky for Rogers, he found a reoccurring pit stop. There is a location in northern Iowa where the last three years a snowy owl has sat on the same exact fence post. Um, three years ago, a guy took a photo. Two years ago, I visited that same spot and posted that photo online and he said, you're not gonna believe this. And he showed me the photo he took the year prior, same exact fence post. And then this last year, someone else photographed a snowy owl there as well. Owls are only a segment of Rogers Iowa wildlife portfolio, filled with ducks, deer, raccoons, and the youthful activity outside of fox dens. But Rogers' multi-year quest was still missing one subject when we followed him across central Iowa. The burrowing owl, known for occupying other creatures' ground-based dens, had been increasingly difficult to spot. 
Just hours later, he received a tip from North Central Iowa. The burrowing owl had taken up temporary home in a nearby cornfield. Roger's photographic quest was complete. All nine Iowa owls caught by his camera lens and just a taste of the intriguing wildlife found in the Iowa outdoors. If it might be, you know, coming into a, a branch to land at that moment where its talons are sticking out almost right before the moment of impact, um, it's neat to see just how big those talons actually are 